Okay, now we're going to learn how to use a spectrophotometer and then we'll take the absorbance of our serially diluted solution. So I will turn on the power button on the back of the unit. And if you look at the panel, a light will come on and will tell you um, what kind of a, a spectrophotometer it is. And then it'll need to warm up for about five minutes. So we will stop the video for now and then we'll resume once the spectrophotometer is warmed up and ready to go. So our spectrophotometer has now warmed up and the screen has come up to show us that we're reading absorbance, which is indicated by this A. And they default to a wavelength of 546 nanometers. Now for our experiment, we need to actually be using a wavelength of 610 nanometers. So we are going to adjust the wavelength by pushing the NM nanometer up or down button. So we can just press and hold and the wavelength will change. And anytime you do an experiment in your lab notebook, you will always note the wavelength that you're using when you're reading your samples. So the next step in reading absorbance is to take a Kim White and take your blank. Your blank typically consists of all of the reagents except for the reagent that you're actually trying to figure out the wavelength for. So in this case, we're looking at methylene blue and methylene blue is diluted in water. So our blank is simply water. The tube, the cubette is inserted inside the cubette reader. Once the lid is closed, you will then press the zero absorbance, 100% transmittance button. And if you see the display says setting blank, which means it is now setting the water reading to an absorbance of zero. At that point, you remove the blank and you can start reading the absorbance, which is very simple. So we'll take our tube one, we will wipe down the tube to make sure there's no fingerprints on the outside to interfere with the absorbance reading. Again, insert the tube, close the lid. There's nothing to push. You merely record the absorbance, which you see is 2047. Once you have a steady reading, you can remove tube one. Take tube two, again, wipe the tube. place it in the cubette holder, close the lid, and again, record the reading. Once again, remove tube two, take tube three, wipe it down, close the lid, and record your absorbance in your notebook. Remove tube three, then we'll move on to tube four, Remembering to wipe it down. And again, recording the absorbance. And finally, our tube five. Wipe it down, insert, and take the reading. Once you're done reading the last tube, you remove it from the spectrophotometer. You then close the lid, turn the power off on the back, unplug the unit out of the plug, gently wind the coil and lay on top, and then use a dust cover to cover the unit to store it away.